in the last video we talk about the derivatives and uh, we said that the derivative at any point of a function is equal to the slope of tangent at that particular point so in this video we shall see an example of derivative let's say we have a function f of x which is equal to 1 over x so we will calculate its derivative using the formula we discussed in the previous video so derivative is equal to limit delta x approaches to 0 the slope of secant line the slope of secant line between two points a and b so when the limit delta x will approach to 0 the secant the slope of secant line will approach the slope of tangent line that's what we talked in the last video so let's simply put the values in this function so f of x naught plus delta x will be 1 over x in place of x we will put x x naught plus delta x so it will become 1 over x naught plus delta x so 1 over x naught plus delta x is any point in the function minus f of x naught f of x naught will simply become 1 over x naught we simply put the value of x naught and x naught plus delta x in this equation so f of x naught plus delta x will become 1 over x naught plus delta x minus f of x naught will become 1 over x naught divided by delta x next we simplify it we take the LCM of both of these terms and we come with th this expression next we further simplify it and finally the slope becomes equal to minus 1 over x naught square so this slope is the derivative of 1 over x so in general we can x naught can be any point so the slope or the derivative will become minus 1 over x square so the derivative of function 1 over x is minus 1 over x square which is f prime of x f prime is the notation used for derivatives so f prime of x will be minus 1 over x square we just simplified this expression and uh, one thing I forgot finally uh, till here it, it was the simplification of that term and here we put the delta x is equal to 0 to put the limit we put the limit delta x approaches to 0 we put delta x is equal to 0 so the final answer will will be minus 1 over x naught square and in general we can say minus 1 over x square for any point it's fine till here next we see the graph of minus 1 over x square which is the derivative of function sorry this is the graph of 1 f is equal to this is the graph of f of x is equal to 1 over x this is the graph of f of x is equal to 1 over x the slope at any point will be minus 1 over x square which is the derivative so we see here is the point in the graph of func in the graph of function f of x this will be the slope 
this is the angle theta and you see its value is very high when uh, the function minus uh, fun function 1 over x approaches uh, sorry when x approaches 0 the function 1 over x approaches infinity the function when the uh, independent variable x approaches this is the independent variable x and this will be the y which is equal to 1 over x so when we see in this graph when x approaches 0 y will approach infinite infinity and when x approaches very high values here when x approaches very high values the y which is equal to 1 over x approaches infinite uh, inf uh, approaches 0 when x, x approaches very high values the function 1 over x approaches 0 when x approaches 0 the function 1 over x approaches infinity so the slope uh, the angle theta will approach 90 degree when function 1 over x will approach infinity the angle theta will approach 90 degree so here the theta is equal to 90 degree so the tangent theta will be equal to tangent 90 which is equal to tangent 90 is equal to infinity so you here you can see when when you put the value of x is equal to 0 in this equation this derivative will be, uh, will become infinity and the function f of x is equal to 1 over x at x is equal to 0 this will also become infinity at x is equal to 0 the function 1 over x will become infinity and slope minus 1 over x square also approaches infinity so in other way when x approaches very large values or infinity the when x approaches very large values or infinity the function 1 over x will approach 0 and the slope minus 1 over x square 1 over 0 square will also become uh, sorry 1 over infin infinity square will also become 0 when x approaches infinity the function 1 over x approaches 0 and the slope also becomes 0 so here you can see the slope is approaching 0 the theta is becoming smaller and smaller the here the theta is smaller and here it is further smaller and here the theta approaches 0 degree uh, sorry theta approaches 180 degree you can see the theta is negative it is in the second quadrant the theta is in second quadrant this is first quadrant this is second quadrant so, so theta is in the second quadrant that's why the slope is negative the slope is negative minus sign indicates that theta is in the th second quadrant so in second quadrant tangent theta will be negative in second quadrant tangent theta is negative so when th theta will approach 180 degree tangent theta will approach 0 so the slope will become 0 here the slope becomes 0 and in other way the slope becomes infinity when theta approaches 90 degree the tangent theta will approach infinity and in the other way when theta approaches 180 degree 
here the slope will become zero so here you can see the theta is negative theta is always negative and is in the second quadrant so in this in this way the direction is positive in this way the direction is negative uh, sorry the tangent theta is negative so theta is in the second quadrant so tangent theta is negative which in, which means the slope is negative that's why this here is the minus sign thanks for watching this video see you in the next video